He's a former president who was once installed by the military, but has now regained office. The incoming president of Madagascar, Andriy Rajolina, knows better than anyone that politics in his country are far from clear-cut. I thank all the people who gave me their trust, even those who voted for the other candidate. My message is you have to be serene. We no longer need disorder. People need a leader who has wisdom, who will unite and gather together all the people. The vote on December the 19th was hard fought between two old adversaries, Rajalina and longtime rival Mark Ravalamanan, who's now saying the vote was fraudulent. Although the European Union observers said they'd not seen any evidence of malpractice. Around 2,000 people gathered in the capital, Antananarivo, demanding a recount. And more demonstrations are expected. It raises fears of instability in the Indian Ocean island that has a history of coups and unrest. Rava Lamanan was first elected in 2002, but forced to resign seven years later after violent demonstrations, replaced by Rajalina, who was installed by the military. The two candidates were both banned from running in the 2013 election, part of an agreement to end the political disputes. But in a country where the World Bank says 76% of people are living in extreme poverty, the incoming president will face the familiar problems of running one of the world's poorest countries, one that is heavily dependent on foreign aid. Francis Collings, TRT World.